Hello guys, the DB Grinder here, back at it again with another video, and this time we have Bart Ladru with 1,632 rating versus Toast with 1,140 rating, so it's going to be another high rated DB video, and let's hop right in. We're going to see Bart when the rock, paper, scissors shoots, so he gets to the side, goes first, 40 versus 40, gotta love to see it. Opening hand is Prosperity, Red Eyes Black Dragon, Necro Valley commandment and then extravagance so this i mean it's kind of awkward because like these are both necker valley and then you can only use one of these and this card's bad and then he has lancia Kuraz, tanky foolish burial and war oh the lancia if it's used on like standby here which i feel like it would be if you're like main decking it I feel like, oh, never mind. I was going to activate Extravagance. Banish 6. Oh, I said on standby. Just curious, how long did it take him? Oh, yeah, there's no way I'm letting someone do that. Because, like, he had, like, it was, like, 14 seconds to use Lancia. Or at least say, like, hey, on standby, Lancia. So, I wouldn't have let him done that. Takes it back. Activate Necker Valley. Pass turn. So, this is actually, like, really insane versus this deck. This card's really good. Draws Driver. And then Tanky to search for Fractal. And he's going to use that effect. Descend. And then Nerval. Which will search. And then he's going to special summon this out. And then tribute summon driver, poke for 25. Yeah, like his deck just does nothing under Necker Valley. Like, zero interruptions besides Necker Valley. And his end board is like driver. It's insane. Draws Red Eyes Fusion. He's going to activate Extravagance. Banish 6. Draw TT Commandment. Let's look at the Banished. You see two Dragoon gone. So hopefully he plays a third. Yep. He's going to dump and then bring out Dragoon. Effect pop driver. And then he's going to attack directly for 3k. And then set two, pass turn, draws prosperity. And then he just admits defeat. Wow. Necker Valley really does just destroy some decks by itself it's insane but going on to the next game we are going to see toast go first opening hand is red eyes insight red eyes fusion prosperity book of moon tt so this is a. Uh, I don't want to say this is like good because like the other end board could just like destroy this because like if you're locked in the winds and it can't be targeted like none of this does anything then he has one for one and driver again. Judgment, Ash, and then War. So this is a good hand for sure, and the Judgment's really good. It's gonna special summon. And then one for one, get rid of driver, bring out Sparrow, and then he's gonna get that effect. And that's gonna add Nerval. And then overlay. Then use that effect to search, and then he's going to use that to special summon itself, and then Nerval from hand. And then goes for Harpies. Nerval effect, banishing three. This card, now this card's really good. Not against this deck. Honestly, against this deck, this is probably one of the worst cards, but this card's insane. Goes into Appalooza, and then Nerval. That's going to add Kip. And then normal summon, use its effect. It's going to banish. And that's going to bring out the ancient warriors. Like the seal of the deck pretty much. And then go into the Samorg. And then it's going to get kit effect. Dump the oath. Set judgment. I don't, this oath isn't going to be live though. Yeah. And then end phase effect, bring out apex. Draws, ooh, draws Dark Ruler. Really. does have the Judgment, though. Yeah, he's going to Judgment that. 
then red eyes insight dump add fusion then activate fusion chain ash then prosperity so the red eyes fusion would have ended up being insane but it he could have went for like statue ash also stopped the Honestly, I forgot like this was even an option for a second. They just always end on statue, but this card's really good. This is a this is a solid end board. You know, it's not like too insane to where like it's like unbeatable, but it's still like really good to where you have to draw insane to beat it. I don't know, this is a cool deck. It's gonna take strike off of prosperity. Now he has strike TT, the combo. Set four, end phase, some more. It's gonna bring out Nerval. I wonder if this is just game on board. Uh, yeah, it is. So he can just attack. He doesn't even have to summon. So it's just gonna attack. Cause that's 24, 16, 16, 27. Like if you take these, that's 4K. And 16 plus 27 is over 4k. Oh yeah, that has 500 more. Alright, so now moving on to game 3. We're going to say, we're going to see the Gravekeeper player go first. If he has like Necker Valley, Prosperity. Alright, alright, we got Prosperity. Opening hand is Punishment, Strike, Prosperity, Extravagance, Strike. So... This is close to being really good. And then he has Lightning Storm, Lancia, Farktal, or Fractal. I always say this card's name wrong. And then War, and then Apex. So it does have Lancia for standby. And then Lightning Storm to wipe the back row. Yeah, this is just game. It's gonna Lancia, and then set back row, pass. And then Lightning Storm, wipe the back row. Effect discard dump and then special summon and then special summon back and that effect the search. It's gonna add Nerval and then overlay. It's gonna use that effect, add swallow, and then special that and Nerval. Goes for the harpies and then banish three to summon out and then go for Appalooza. It's gonna get Nerval, add kit, and then normal summon the kit. Like the same play as last time. Uh, it should have game. Bring out the link four, and then go for blossom. It's gonna get the effects, dump, and then search. And then effect summon. And then banish to summon out the ancient warriors so this is yeah this is for sure game battle phase attack 19 then 16 then 16 16 19 yeah it's gonna be game eventually there we go yeah that that Lancia was actually so nice versus him. It's insane. It's cool how, like, Lancia has seen, like, more and more play just because, like, you know, like, this card's in, like, everyone's deck right now. It seems like they want to at least try it out. And then it's just good versus, like, some of the meta decks. But let's see how long the match was. And it was cool to see Gravekeeper again, even though we only saw, like, Gravekeeper game one, really. Um, still interesting. And the deck can just lose to, like, Lancia Lightning Storm, which, fair enough. I guess, like, without Dragoon, you kind of just, like, lose to Lightning Storm. But the match was about 22 minutes long. That was a really quick match for having, like, Gravekeeper. And also, I know that you guys wanted to see this Bird Up deck a lot. You guys keep asking for it, so I got it on here. Uh, I'm going to try to get more on here. Maybe I'll just, like, wide geoscope this dude and get more replays of him. He seems to know the deck somewhat, at least, uh, better than I know it. Maybe there was a way for, like, game one, to him, uh, game one for him to set up the trap. I'm not sure. 
Uh, but that's going to be it for the video. I'm going to guess that this video is going to be pretty short. I'm going to go with like 12 minutes, 14 seconds. And with that being said, the DB Grinder signing off. Peace. Have a nice day.